My people, my people, area where they play, where they sob, like this, it don't set a gay for this country. Few hours ago, where they swear the current president, Ahmed Bola Tunubu, they enter power as president of Nigeria. Things don't they go one corner where everybody no understand again. We na no say a fair statement as they given the power as a president in talk and say in the common subsidy come off for fuel. Area no gris settle since we didn't make that statement. Right now, Rofai don't come out, don't give a woto woto with question and answer for this studio. I no want to talk too much. More we'll watch with you, Rofai, want to talk. Oya oh, yeah, film. So, D, we will be talking about in detail some of the uh, statements contained in mm. the president's inaugural speech. However, right. um, Rufai, so many things to discuss. So many things. Uh, a lot of people have said the, the inaugural speech was not inspiring. Mm. A lot of parts to pick out of the speech. At a time when Nigerians needed a lot of healing, you need to have a speech that rally people. And we thought that he was going to make key pronouncements, feeling the pains of people as regards the elections. But what he said was, yes, the election was highly contested, but I won. No, it's not about who won now. It's about the electoral process, which has been challenged in court. And to a large extent, what you say as regards that matters a lot to a lot of people that are watching. Secondly, I think the president-elect should quickly put together, even if it's a kitchen cabinet economic team, I mean, the president, beg your pardon, you know, even if it's a quick kitchen cabinet economic team, to be able to ensure that the mistakes he has made at his inaugural speech, he fixes them. And pardon my Freudian sleep, it gets time getting used to when you say something for a long while, there's something called a Freudian sleep in your head. Because you have made some mistakes with that speech. The first one, and I just fact check him now, when he said there was no provision for subsidy in the 2023 budget, that's not true. There was provision for subsidy, but it was up to half of the year. It was June. So President Tinubu saying there was no provision for subsidy, that's not true. 3.6 trillion was a marked last year for subsidy. And we have that money on ground. Yes. You are saying you want to go further. It is gone. How are you going to have a face remover? What is your plan around it? Because it is gone, you said. What the marketers will hear, let me jack up price. So even if they bought the products at the former price, Subsidies. they are still going to jack up the price. And that's what's happening. That's what they call market forces. And if, as a leader, you think the market forces are not strong, just wait and go and ask Madam uh, Lee's trust, how market forces made her one of the shortest British prime ministers ever. Things like this, it needs to be thought through. So is he going to make his decision? Maybe he's going to have a supplementary budget or whatever. I don't know. It behoves on him. But he needs to walk this back because, you see, too many times, NMPC will come out with the rhetoric. What NMPC will always say? When you have first casting, what do they always say? One thing, we have enough supply. Market should cool down. The last time we had subsidy for months here, they kept on saying we have enough supply. But it didn't change the market situation. So I'm not surprised that Miliki Ari is saying what he's going to say. But the effect on the people, there's already queue everywhere. So he has made his first mistake. He will have to walk back this mistake in the course of the week. Everybody's gone blazing. Joajero and Labour has gone blazing. Probably we have to call Labour into a meeting this week. Subsidy is gone. We want subsidy to go. Don't get me wrong. But that was not the shock at which to say it. You will work with everybody to be able to see as a face removal. I tell people, there's a difference between hypertension and hypotension. People want their BP to come down. But hypotension is worse than hypertension. And that's why you can't just load up on your BP drug so high because you want to crash your BP. It has to be phased. That's number one. We are seeing the effect. But I support subsidy removal. Yeah. And underline it, I support subsidy removal. Other things, too, he said about the economy yesterday. 
interest rate must go down. Yes. But he also needs to understand the parameters that has made interest rates go up. Interest rate went up because there is inflation. So how is going to pull inflation down? It's not that the CBN just loves to increase interest rates. Do you think the CBN loves to squeeze liquidity out of the economy? No. And also the legacy issues of insecurity that make it difficult for farmers to be able to put food across, that makes food inflation on the high. So these are the things he needs to look at. And for him saying, I want to close up the exchange rate, yes, that's another good one, but it has to be methodical. I'm not saying what he said is not good, but it has to be methodical. There's a way to say something. So you want to close up the exchange rate. Don't forget, a week before now, Bloomberg had predicted that he was going to say this. And Bloomberg had written a story where they envisaged that the exchange rate United was going to go over 500. And do you know that thing shocked the market temporarily? But now that he has said that, that can also shock the market. But you also forget that most of your debts are, some of your debts are in dollars. And it increases your dollar debts. There's a time we'll have to have a convergence of exchange rate, both on the parallel market and the official rate. But it has to be done methodically. And what you need to work more are the factors of production that brings about that exchange rate being like that in the first place. Apart from mammoth corruption, then the factors of production, are we productive? Are we having a product economy? All right? Mm -hmm. Are we having an economy that can bolster the possibilities? So those are the questions we need to ask ourselves. We don't have all of that on ground. I'm happy he talked about industrialization and economic well-being and development. But these are the things we need to work on. But generally sounded off on the digital sector, yes. Reality has also hit in. During the campaign, he said 12% economic growth. We kept on saying it's not possible. Reality has hit him now. Now he's moderated it to 6%. Yes, which is tenable, but with a lot of hard work. Because we remember the last time Nigeria grew 6% was over close to 10 years ago. You have to bring in a lot of hard work and productivity. But other people congratulating him. Yes, it's the beginning of a new era for the president, President Tinubu era in Nigeria. Prince Charles will congratulate him. Joe Biden will congratulate him. Everybody will say they'll work in tandem with him. But also he has made his first mistakes, which is about this subsidy. And like he said, yeah, there's no budget provision. Yes, because it ends in June, because it's half year, but there was initial budget provision. But what will he do? Will he take it on? Will he say he will not make any budget provision? Will he want to have his own supplementary budget? Will he keep this budget? And that's just about it. So I wish him the very best. Yeah. And like we say, we are constantly here to say kudos to him when he's done well and to say you need to do a lot better. So I think his first thing is he needs to go and fix this problem on ground now because the queues have to leave. Yes. Area, wait till they play. I hope when they see the matter where is they go right now for the country? It never reach how many hours, how many days, where did they put the current president, Ahmed Bola Tunubu, into power? The country don't they hurt right now. Wait till Una get for mind when I want to talk. I beg when I put on for the comment session. Now, yeah, we for draw the matter. Mama not know whether he still get picking because of the fire where it is born now for this country. Thank you. As soon as they join us, they enjoy what they go on for this channel. God will bless you. You will see the scene for the first time. Help us subscribe, like, and share. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, anytime you can see this video. Bye-bye.